Okay. Hey, I'm Elaine. I'm Doug. And we're with ElaineWatkins.com. Welcome. Welcome. And before we get started, be sure to click on the button below and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Today, we wanted to share a little bit of information about our Whole Food Plant-Based Weekend. So Whole Food Plant-Based is WFPB. You can do a quick Google Internet search for that. It's um, basically what it sounds like. It's a whole food plant-based. No meat products, no dairy products, no oil. Well, some people do oil. We, we eliminate oil in the process of what we're doing, but it's pretty simple. Um, not that complicated. It sounds like it is, but it's pretty simple, though. Yeah, really. We, we already uh, tend to eat pretty clean because we've been on a health journey for several years now, but we had never eliminated meat, and it never even occurred to us to eliminate Oil. So a whole food plant-based diet is basically specifically eating whole foods. So whole uh, fruits and vegetables, things like quinoa, oats, um, rice, uh, foods that you would recognize that you wouldn't, they either wouldn't have a label on them or if they did, there wouldn't be 50 different ingredients in them. Uh, so we focused on whole food, plant-based diet, and we also decided to eliminate oil, specifically in relation to uh, the research done by Caldwell Esselstyn that we uh, again learned about when we decided to watch Forks Over Knives not too long before we went on the trip. We had seen the movie before, but it was just really interesting how um, we hadn't really caught that before, and we decided to give it a try that weekend for five days when we traveled from here in Texas to Tennessee and then back through Arkansas. And the reason we're doing this is to try to better our health. We understand basically what the research he's finding out that we're watching all of the different videos and we're looking at certified uh, medical uh, type information. We want to understand what we can do to better affect our health as we live long term. Uh, how do we live out from where we're at now to an older age? Do we live um, healthy? Do we, do we struggle? We want to do the best we can to, uh, to affect our health in, in all the ways that we can. Mm -hmm. we, we have several family members that are struggling with severe cardiovascular disease. We also have family members that struggle with obesity and others with diabetes type struggles. And our goal is to hopefully uh, eliminate our risk for those, but at a minimum to uh, diminish any problems that we might experience or delay whatever we might experience. Um, also, we watched as several of those family members have a slow degrading of their health, which means they're alive, but they're able to do less and less and less and less as they lose abilities. And we would really like to thrive uh, as much as we can, as long as we can. And enjoy life and um, be around as long as we can for our grandkids and everything like that so that is particularly why we're choosing uh, to make this decision to go for this weekend for five days and just test it and see yeah. how we do without any meat and without any oil for five days while we're away from home right it's pretty simple we our goal is just like she said we want to do something uh, while we're away from home and see how how we can accomplish that is it hard is it easy Turned out it's pretty easy. Mm -hmm. We basically packaged up the uh, kitchen tools that we needed, put them in the car, packaged up the food that we wanted, purchased a little bit, and put that in the car. So everything's all stacked away in the car. Found a nice Airbnb that we can accommodate the, the cooking that we needed to do. Uh, and really, just even a hotel room is fine because we have hot plates and we have uh, Vitamix-type blenders and everything we need to do to, to accommodate our eating. So uh, not hard. It was just more of an experiment of what can, what is, how is the food going to affect us or the, the change in food is it going to affect us. Yeah, really, uh, we, we took very uh, simple recipes that we were already familiar with. And, you know, if they typically included meat, then we just eliminated the meat. So if you go to the website, which I referenced below, I've got recipes on there for Power Bowls and stuff like that. Well, we had Power Bowls. We just didn't have the meat in them. Uh, we had uh, oatmeal in the morning with all kinds of fruits uh, chopped up and nuts added to it. And they were just a variety of different combinations every morning. And they were very delicious. And 
all of the meals that we had were very filling and and um, we noticed that we didn't uh, get hungry in between meals. We just basically were hungry when it was time to eat another meal. Or when we did get hungry, we we made snacks that were that met the criteria that we're trying to do, right? So it's a, a whole food plant based hummus. Mm -hmm. You know, before she made hummus with oil in it, now she just took the oil out. I didn't notice the difference. Yeah. Uh, she's making hummus now that is amazingly tasty, and I take it to work and snack on it with carrots or some good crackers that we found that don't have oil in them. Um, it's not that hard. It's actually pretty good, and you feel good. I'm down one uh, one pant size now. Yeah, I think we've both lost a little bit of weight. Our energy level is definitely, I would say, definitely increased. Yeah. We definitely feel really good. Um, yeah. I found that it was really, I think it was actually a little bit easier to prepare meals. Uh, it was definitely significantly easier on the cleanup because you didn't have the oil to get off the pans and off the dishes and stuff yeah. like that. So that was definitely easier. Um, yeah, and so as we go along, we want to extend on this whole series of how are we living it? How are we living out this uh, different type of eating? We've, we've, we've eaten the standard American diet our whole lives. I'm not going to say how old we are, but uh, it's pretty much normal. And there's nothing on, wrong with what we did. We're just trying to make it better. We're trying to feel better and do better. So we want to extend this uh, beyond this video into more series of how are we living it out every period of time? Well, what's changing? Mm -hmm. Is it getting better? Some of the effects, some of the good things. Maybe if there is anything bad, we'll, we'll log it. Mm -hmm. I don't think there is, but we'll find out. Yeah, we'll definitely share uh, more updates as, as we continue on this journey. Because obviously we're back. That, that trip was about a month ago, and we're, we've decided to continue on a whole food plant-based diet. And our plan is to come back with more YouTube videos and posts on the website about as we go through these experiences and sharing what we're experiencing. Yeah, we want to log it and see what happens. You know, mm -hmm. we can go back and look and see how we changed in the video and see what it looks like. Yeah, definitely. So be sure, to, uh, again, to click and subscribe to the YouTube channel and be sure to click on the website link below and go check out the our Whole Food Plant-Based Weekend post. Mm -hmm. uh, and That's a good to, post. For more, Read it. You know, for more mm -hmm. details about our trip experiences. Thank okay. you again, and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.